Hi, how you doing? My name is Steve Houston, and welcome back to my channel. This is COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus update number three. And the title of this video is, Why Should It Scare the Bleep Out of You? I want to reach out to you and talk to you about one thing that I think everybody is painfully aware of right now dealing with this coronavirus or COVID-19. That is... The world is something we've never seen before in terms of basically all commerce is being shut down. Those of you who felt comfortable driving Uber, Lyft, or even having a job, those things are literally wiped out for the unforeseen future. We're actually seeing the economy, what was very, very strong, everything really is on hold. All commerce, basically, are all dead. And so my phone's been on fire for many of you who Look into this industry, you know, a year ago, two years ago, got stuck in licensing, never got your license, or got licensed and never did anything. And like I said, my phone's burning up. Like Questions like, is it affecting the insurance industry, the life insurance, mortgage insurance, final expense industry? And the answer is yes. Uh, our sales in the last two weeks have been higher than really in the last four years. I've never seen anything like an unprecedented, both in the sales and the leads. And so to answer your question, it has an effect. And I believe it's going to have a long-standing effect on our industry for many years to come, much like 9-11, as I said in one of my other videos that's back here, where everybody, you know, were checked when it came to, you know, really you know, our mortality, number one, but really our way of making a living. This is really an opportunity to get out there and help a lot of people right now that have asked to be helped. Even before this took place, I want to show you a chart that I have here, 69% don't have what we offer, and 31% have some, but not enough. It's usually just work-type life insurance, life insurance that they don't own. So even before the coronavirus and the COVID-19, we had a major opportunity in front of us. The difference now is, is that people's mortality has been checked, and they realize that they really aren't in control, that at any moment, something can happen to them, right? I mean, I, we've all heard it before, if you're in this industry, that, you know, I don't plan on dying. Well, no one plans on dying, right? But sometimes it takes an event like this, you've heard me say it before, life insurance is an event-based business. This is a major event that's going to have impact on industry for, like I said, many years to come. Not just so much in buying life insurance, that is already here, but also people like yourselves that started to get licensed, got licensed, did nothing, and relied on that old job security, and we know now that there is no job security, and I've been saying that for most of my life. The job security lies in you and your skill set that those of you who didn't get started really are kind of kicking themselves right now because we're still out working. We're still visiting with people that want to see us. There are some that will wait. There are some that won't want to see us right now. There are some that want to do online or face-to-face -face appointments. Whatever it is, right now, there's a major focus on life insurance, right? And that's created a huge need in what I call opportunity. I saw on the internet the other day, and I shared that with my team, the two biggest searches right now are toilet paper, which like I said in my last video, I still don't get that one, and life insurance. So let's go take a look at that right now. Okay, so you can see I already got it typed in here, Forbes, life insurance, and toilet paper. So here it is right here, Forbes article, March 12, 2020. Take a look at this. Consumers panic for shopping for life insurance in the face of the coronavirus. The panic shopping for coronavirus planning doesn't end with food, water, and toilet paper. Some consumers are also panic shopping for life insurance. In the face of widespread fears about infections and quarantines, many Americans are getting their financial houses in order. So look at this article here. Life insurance consumers now have options for speedy application. Well, that speaks to our industry because we do speedy applications with the non-medical approach, right? Uh, and any traditional life insurance policy of its term, life insurance, will be, will be a suitable financial safety net. Key word there, safety net. Uh, the modern life insurance policy covers death by any cause, at any time, in any place, except for suicides within the first two policy years. Getting life insurance fast, again, talks about the uh, non-med approach right here. There's typically a lengthy application, a life insurance medical exam, and then time for life insurance coming to receive doctor's records and verify information about you. Many life insurance applications use this underwriting process. 
A lot of folks get bogged down in the process and lose steam. But life insurance consumers now have options for speedy applications. No exam life insurance policies. Skip the medical exam and shorten the underwriting time. Obviously, that's been around for a while. But Forbes is just getting a handle on it. The important thing is to take action. This is the kind of stuff that's out on the market right now. Uh, again, that can only benefit you and I as agents. And this is going to linger on for many years to come. Don't focus on the possible manner of death because that's impossible to predict. An experienced life insurance agent can help with valuable advice if you're not comfortable shopping on your own, obviously. So that's good stuff. So again, I would, I would take this article. I would, I, would, uh, I would print it off and I would send it out with, uh, to my prospects. I would send it out to friends, family, and neighbors. I'd be getting it out everywhere and let Forbes magazine sell, do this, do this selling for you. And I'd also use it in my presentations. So there you have it. So let's get back to the subject of the day. Coronavirus update number three. All right, so like I said, when you got that kind of momentum going on in our industry, it can only create opportunity for you and I, the ones that are ready to take action, willing to go out there, do what we do best. Not just about the money, folks. It's about protecting people that need the protection. And that will linger on, like I said, for many years to come. So if you haven't got started, right now is the time to get started, get focused. What should you learn through this virus? And here it is. If 100% of your income is coming from your own efforts, you're fixing to get killed. And now is a prime example. Now, as insurance agents, 100% of our income does come from our own efforts to go out there and write insurance. However, the underlying benefit of this industry is residual income. So my life continues to go on. I've got money coming in residually right now so that if I couldn't work, for six months to a year, everything's going to be fine. I mean, we're not wealthy by any means, but we have enough money coming in that we can certainly sustain ourselves and our lifestyle really isn't going to change. Do I want that to happen? No, because we're still very much in the building mode. I'm not retired, don't want to retire. However, as I tell my team all the time, remember why we got in this business. One, to help people. Two, work-life balance. Three, residual income, which creates that work-life balance and the opportunity to have a passive income stream. So how do you prepare yourself for this type of situation? The answer is you got to be building residual income, right? You got to be building passive income so that your income comes in every single day, regardless of whether or not you're able to go out there and produce, or they shut the whole world down and the commerce ceases to exist. You can't, I mean, I talked to many of you. Many of you right now are out there, or were out there, driving Uber, driving Lyft. Those industries are on a complete standstill. People that have their own business, brick and mortar, hairdressers, you know, whatever it takes. Every time you deal with people coming into your business, you're virtually shut down. In one minute, I mean, just in a matter of days, our government, local and national, was able to shut everybody in place, right? And recommend that they don't go out and close the businesses so you aren't tempted to go out. And listen, we could have a political discussion as to whether or not I think that's legal or, or it should be happening in our country. But the reality of it is, it is, right? So everyone watching this video, in or out of this business, can and should strongly consider what are you building each day that you wake up, right? So hopefully that's what brought you to this situation right now in your life where you may not be having a job. You don't know when your job is going to be available again or if that business, depending on how long this goes on, will ever reopen. On my last video, I ended the coronavirus update number two. Go watch it if you haven't done so already. And I ended it with, dig your well before you're thirsty. you got to ask yourself, whatever you're doing, does it build residual income? Are you building a passive income stream? And if not, why not? Thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you in the next video. In the meantime, stay safe. Bye-bye.